Keith, thank you. Among them, uh, the British women's hockey team, who are going to be taking part. Of course, they won bronze, didn't they, uh, in London 2012. They're hoping to step back onto the podium in Rio this time and to improve their chances. They've been, well, they, they've built a special pitch exactly like the one, a replica mm. of the one that they're going to be playing on in Brazil. And we sent uh, Mike, of course, to join them at practice. And with balls flying around at more than 100 miles an hour, we needed to make sure he didn't get hurt. You don't know where it's coming from next. The human eye is no match for the speed of a hockey ball. But stay alert, be brave, and you may just stop the rocket reaching its goal. It's perceived to be one of the bravest positions to play in, in any sport really, because even with its protection on, the prospect of a hockey ball flying at you at 100 miles per hour is pretty terrifying, I've got to be honest. If I'm honest, most of the time I had no idea whether I've managed to stop the ball or not. Thankfully, the Team GB goalkeeper, Maddie Hinch, is more aware. There's no doubt there's occasions where I just get out there and close my eyes and hope to God it hits me. Um, but at the same time, people say to go and go, you've got to be slightly nutty and a bit fearless and, and get out there and be willing to put your body on the line, which I guess I do. You normally just walk away with a few bruises. Ahead of the Rio Olympics, goalkeepers have even more to prepare for. One of the new aspects of the game is the shuffle, designed to settle matches that end in draws, like a, a penalty shootout. It's one-on-one -on -one with a keeper, so somehow I've got to try and outfox Maddie. Oh, oh. I actually started off as a goalkeeper and I quickly went outfield due to being scared and not liking balls being smacked at me all day long. But don't think it's any easier keeping up with the outfield players. Endless running with and without the ball means it's estimated they cover more ground per minute than in other team sports. The intensity of the game is a lot higher from a physical perspective. In football it would be about 130 metres every minute um, and in hockey it can be up to 210 metres per minute. It's all just a mental battle between you, whatever the weather's thrown at you and the times that you've got to make. I think when you're playing actually hockey with your teammates, there's so much more to think about. At the end of all those runs, that running, you've got to hit the ball. Yeah. One of the key things though is the, the set pieces, isn't it? The penalty yeah, corners, absolutely, the short yeah. So what's the technique here? The ball's going to come in. Yeah, so the balls get, will get injected. And, it, okay. and then it gets stopped You're outside the D up. by someone called the trapper or okay. stick stopper. So Sam will inject the ball. And then you'll hit it with like a golf swing. Maddie wasn't troubled. And my punishment for missing the target was to go back in goal for more target practice as Team GB prepare for Rio, hoping to at least match their bronze medal of London 2012. Mike Bushell for BBC News at Bisham Abbey. Out. The Beatles, <laughs> indeed, and Rolling Stones were battling it out in the charts, and the Vietnam War was raging. But for many, the